Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is GitHub? Let me answer. GitHub is a remote cloud repo. Okay, let me explain this remote cloud repo details in a detailed manner and in a visual manner. For that, uh, I'll just open this uh, paint software where I can draw the things for you. So whenever you work as a team, okay, whenever you work in a project, you have to work as a team. You are not the only one person who will be writing the Selenium automation scripts. Okay, along with you, there will be other colleagues who will also be working on the same project by writing, you know, Selenium automation scripts for their assigned functionalities. Not only you, they also in parallel with you have to simultaneously work on the same project by creating the automation scripts for their assigned functionalities or areas in the project. So project will be generally like this, okay? So there will be a project. In the project, there will be different people working on the same project, okay? They'll be writing the automation scripts. For example, in this case, we'll take only four people, but in real time, there may be more people also for a single project, okay? It depends on the size of the project. For now, let's take an example project, which has four automation engineers who are, or four test testers who are actually writing the automation scripts, okay? For the particular application of the project, okay? So now, if this particular person is writing the automation script, this person will create the automation scripts in his or our own machine. Similarly, this person also will do the same thing. This person also has uh, his or her own machine. This person also has his or her own machine. And same thing with this person also, okay? So, these people are creating and writing their automation scripts in their local machines. Whatever the machine that is laptop or desktop machine that is given to them. In that machine, they are writing the automation scripts for a particular functionality that is assigned to them, okay? But ultimately, the project work should be at a single place. It should not be distributed across multiple machines like this, okay? Instead of putting in their personal machines like this, ultimately, these people who are for, uh, working for this project have to finally place their code, okay, in a centralized repo. So they have to move their code from here to here, okay, so that at a centralized place, the code will be there, okay? Whatever the code they have written for the assigned functionality, this person has moved the code here. Similarly, this person also has moved. This person also moved the code from here to here, here to here. Now, everyone is putting their code here in a centralized repo. This is called as a centralized repo. Centralized repo means repository. Centralized repository, okay? Now, this centralized repository can be another machine in their own computer, uh, in their own company, there can be another machine, a physical machine, another physical machine, physical machine available in their, in their network or LAN, whatever you call, okay? It's another laptop or desktop machine, okay? Which is con configured as a centralized repo, okay? But if that is the case, if it is another machine in their own uh, company and it's there in the in centralized place where everyone is putting the code, this particular machine may not have the capabilities uh, like advanced capabilities like version controlling, okay, maintaining the multiple copies of the code or uh, for every change these people are doing to this uh, centralized code, a version, okay, version one, version two need to be maintained. That facilities may not be there. And there is a possibility that if the system goes down, okay, all the code will be lost. All the code will be lost. And a lot of other stuff is missing here. A lot of other stuff cannot be maintained by this machine. That's a problem, okay? So that is a problem. So now, if the centralized repository is a cloud centralized repository, or if it is a GitHub cloud repository, okay? So I'm saying that GitHub is a not just a re, uh, remote repository. It is a remote repository, physical remote repository, which is there in their own company, okay? In their network, that's fine. But GitHub is not something like a, this kind of machine that is there in their own network. Rather, it is a remote. Remote means somewhere far away, okay? And cloud, what does cloud means? It's internet. You can connect to that remote repository via internet, okay? Like you access all the files uploaded to the Google Drive via internet. Similarly, you can access the project code 
automated project code or whatever the code that is uploaded to this uh, GitHub cloud repo uh, via the internet. Okay. Like Google Drive, GitHub is also some kind of cloud uh, application. Okay. Repo means repository where you can place your code, where you can store your code. Okay. Multiple versions of the code you can store. Cloud means internet, guys. So instead of this physical local machine, people these days are going with some kind of cloud remote repository like GitHub. Okay. GitHub is one of such kind of softwares available in the market. Okay. One of such kind of cloud uh, centralized repos. Okay. If you search for alternatives for GitHub, you will get different uh, company related cloud repositories. Alternatives for GitHub. If you search for this, there are several alternatives. Apart from GitHub, we have Bitbucket. Okay. GitLab and many other Amazon Web Services, a lot of things are there in the market, guys. But GitHub is something kind of famous and most of the people use in the market, okay? So it's uh, common to get questions on GitHub in the Selenium inter interviews, okay? Selenium related interviews or Selenium, uh, Selenium interview questions, you'll get this kind of questions, okay? So GitHub is a simple, straightforward answer is a remote cloud repo, okay? It's not a uh, machine uh, centralized repo which is there in your uh, company, in your own company as a separate machine. Rather, it is a remote cloud repo which is somewhere available, hosted by someone, okay? Hosted by GitHub only. Uh, it's there somewhere, we don't know, and uh, we can access that uh, repo via the internet, okay? Nowadays, internet is fast, so if this kind of cloud applications came up, where even we upload our code, like we upload some files into the Google Drive, similarly, we upload our code into the GitHub repo, okay? It's a cloud centralized repo, okay? Which is a remote cloud centralized repo is the answer. And it comes with a lot of advanced features, okay? Whatever the this uh, local centralized repo can provide whatever that local centralized repo cannot provide all these things can be provided with the github centralized remote cloud cloud repo which can be accessed by the internet what are such kind of few what are such few advanced features that are supported by this github is first is code hosting guys like you upload your code uh, upload your files onto the google drive you can upload your code and host it there in the GitHub cloud repo. Version control for every small change, these developers are uh, uh, automated developers or automation engineers are pushing their code into this uh, GitHub remote cloud repo, right? Every change, a version will be maintained, version one. After this person pushes the code here, let's say uh, this is version one already. This person pushes the code, now combination is version two, okay? Every version is put it separately because there may be some situations where this person has uploaded a wrong code and because of which uh, the repo got affected, centralized cloud repo got affected. Now what the team will think about is they will revert, they will uh, verify which uh, which kind of uh, uploading of the code has uh, made problematic code. And uh, if they identify that, they will revert it back. Previous version, they can revert. Okay, there are some problems with the repo. Collaboration, you see there, they can collaborate, right? Uh, you see, GitHub gives a lot of uh, features where people, uh, where this uh, people who are working can collaborate with each, with each other uh, to work on a single project. Already, these people are working and collaborating. Otherwise, this project is not possible. Issue tracking. They also have the facility of issue tracking where uh, not for this automation projects, but in real time. GitHub is not just used for automation, Selenium automation, hosting of the code of the Selenium automation code. Rather, it can also be used by general developers who actually develop the applications, okay? Real applications, uh, those things also can be hosted. Those code can also be hosted in GitHub. And uh, while while creating or developing such kind of applications by hosting the code on the GitHub, GitHub also gives a uh, feature where uh, they can track the issues related to that hosted code uh, in the same GitHub repo itself, okay? Integration with CI, CD tool, okay? Once the, code is hosted here, you can turn off your machines and uh, take them down. No need to turn them on 24 by 7. You can close down your machines, okay? Because the code is now there on the GitHub, which will be which will be there 24 by 7. So you can use the tools like CI, CD tools, CI, CD tools uh, like Jenkins and all. They will invoke these automation scripts or whatever the code to run the automation scripts at any point of time according to the configuration of the jobs given in this Jenkins kind of CI CD tools. 
community is also there community as a community right Op nowadays a lot of open source projects are being there anyone can you know work from any part of the world and contribute to a particular project as an open source project okay and github is playing a good role in that and uh, there are uh, two types of plans in github like public plan and private plan okay so public is something like uh, mainly used for uh, open source project and that's completely free you don't have to pay any single buck okay uh, to get any license or nothing is required okay if you if you openly publish your code and host your code uh, by contributing to that open source project where anyone can download your code and all then there is no charge github is not charging you anything but if you want your code which is hosted in the github one of the github remote cloud repositories to be private to be hidden from everyone only the team who is working who only the developers who are working on that particular project can only access the code in such kind of cases github has a paid plan where okay github has a paid plan where we need to pay for the license okay for each and every member who is there part of the github okay uh, for that private project so let me show you one example of how does a GitHub look like? How does a remote cloud repo GitHub looks like? So that's what is the particular demonstration. Okay, there are many other advanced features, guys. Only I listed the important ones anyhow. Uh, practical demonstration, I'm just showing the GitHub. Just type github.com. If you are new to GitHub, you have to sign up. If you're already having an account with uh, GitHub, you can sign in, okay? I already have an account with uh, GitHub, so I'm just signing in. Just let me sign in by giving my password and all. Okay, sign in. Once I sign in, okay, once I sign in, right? Uh, so this is the dashboard of the GitHub and I have to click on my profile and uh, I have to select this your repositories. Then you can see all the remote cloud repositories that I have hosted in my GitHub account, okay? So these are public, so I am not paying any license amount for GitHub because I'm using a free account of GitHub. Uh, because my code is open, anyone can download this particular code, whatever the code I have written for this, you know, uh, BDD hybrid uh, with page object model, behave Python related project, okay, this is. And if you want to download the code, click and download this code, okay, download zip, all the code will get downloaded, okay. Like that, guys, a lot of cloud repos, you see, these are cloud repos. These are each and everything I'm clicking here is a cloud repo, okay. And version history, I'm telling you, right, uh, you see four commits are there. You can see the versions, okay, version history, like what changes are being happening. Everything is getting tracked here. Issue tracker is there, okay, issue tracker is there. If you go for uh, Selenium, let's say Selenium, GitHub kind of thing, if I say, a uh, lot of people are working on this uh, Selenium open, as an open source project. You can see more. You see issues. 187 issues are there that uh, the developers of the Selenium automation tool are working. You see a lot of defects are being reported here in the same GitHub. That's what I'm saying about the uh issue tracking facility and uh, uh what else is there communication like a lot of communication is there collaboration is there where you know collaboration and uh collaboration and community thing is going on collaboration first collaboration means everyone can come and you see someone uh, some people have worked on this okay this person has uh, uploaded the code and there is a communication happening thank you for creating the issue we will troubleshoot it as soon as possible and other person you see a lot of communication is happening right and uh, coming to the uh, code and all, let's see the community here. You see, there is a community. A lot of contributors are there. A lot of users are there. These contributors are the one who is who are developing the Selenium automation tool. Okay, and uh, they are creating different versions of, uh, and uh, they are ranked in a particular order. Like the the one who is on the top is this one, Simon Stewart. Okay, who generally uh, is the main candidate, I can say. And other people are also very very good. And uh, you know, you can see a lot of images here, right? of them they're very active here okay like that there are 710 contributors and uh this uh, this automation is used by 2 lakhs 28 341 something like that okay so yeah a lot of other documentation stuff everything is there here guys okay you can see some documentation here okay so read me and all those documentations and many other stuff is there okay and uh yeah version control so you can see like uh, how the commits happening and all you see version control branches tags lot of things are there a lot of collaboration is happening community is there and all those stuff you see how many people are working together uh, collaboratively okay this is what is github in depth guys but uh, in interviews if you want to give a very basic answer you can say that github is a remote cloud repo so with this explanation you should get an idea what exactly is a github 
So when you work in a real time project, you will not be the only one who will be writing the automation scripts in general case. So most of the projects will have multiple automation engineers. Okay, when they are working in a Selenium project and they'll be simultaneously working on different uh, functionalities assigned to them and they have to upload their code into this kind of uh, repos, okay, centralized repos like uh, GitHub, which are remote cloud repos, which can be accessed by the internet, okay. So this is all about GitHub guys, okay, and uh, to upload the code to this GitHub and all, here as shown in the image and all, so as the people were working and they have to push their code into the GitHub cloud repo, right? But with that to happen, uh, people will have to install a software known as Git software. With the help of Git software, after installing, uh, uh, you'll get some Git command line thing, okay? Uh, Git bash kind of command line tool you'll get. Uh, in that command line tool, you have to run the different commands, okay? Which will be able to, you know, upload the code, download the code, okay? If a new member joins the project and that particular member don't have to go for any other person, simply that per person will be given this credentials of GitHub and that person have to run some Git commands to copy the entire code that was written before he joined the project, okay? Other people have already written a lot of code, automation code for the project. The new person joining will simply have to run a Git command from his, from his or her local machine so that whatever the code that is there in the cloud repo can be dumped into the new person's machine and from there that person will start working on the project like this lot of things are there okay so for this github cloud reporting to happen uh you know uh from the local machine hosting of the code to the github and from github to the local dumping of the code into the local machine and all such kind of operations can be done with the help of git software Git software need to be installed in their local machines okay in every person's local machine who is working on the project and necessary git commands need to be triggered okay so this is all about github guys okay if i keep on speaking about github right it will keep on going like that but whatever you feel convenient when you get this kind of question in the interview whatever uh, you know natural feeling you have about the github you try to explain okay that will be more than enough okay if you can explain even 30 percent of what i whatever i have answered in this question that will be more than enough guys so that's all for this session thank you bye bye